Hey, welcome to the Watch and Whisper channel. This is G Butterfly, and I'm going to run through the Marriage and Medicine season uh, 9, episode 7. I'm going to go through it really quick, and yes, you're going to have a black screen because I'm already in the bed. So the ladies are still in Vegas, and they go out to dinner, and Simone looks really, really good in her cat suit because sometimes Simone fashions be horrible or have been in the past season. But this season, she has stepped up a little bit. Her makeup is pretty, her uh, wigs are pretty, and the cat suit she had on was very pretty. Contessa apologized to the group for her part in the blow-up between she and Heavenly. The show, <clears throat> then they show Heavenly, and her face is saying, I know good and damn well y'all not waiting on me to apologize. So that was real funny, because everybody kept looking around, everybody was silent, and I think they were all waiting on Hev Heavenly to apologize, and it didn't happen. The chef and restaurant owner, he personally takes them to their table, and he's be being very kind and gracious, and Quar says that um, he had, he was very sweet and she liked his vibe. Why Neela had to say, Quar, he's married? And Quar just kind of gave a look, and then she pulled it right on back in. I'm like, damn, why they had to say the man was uh, married? All Quar said was she was feeling his vibe, and that was it. Okay, so the chef brings out two bottles of Cayman, Camus, I think that's how it's pronounced, and it was red wine, and the ladies were able to ap have appetizers that were the chilled fish platters. Now, Contessa act like she don't want to eat nothing because she got a show coming up, but she be sitting down, whooping down everything that's put in front of her. I said, Lord, she's going to have to really work hard when she go home. So, Simone asked the ladies to pull the question out of the tea kettle, and this is called spill the tea or something like that. I said, oh, Lord, I know this getting ready to go left. Heavenly and Toya go back and forth about a, um, the question that Heavenly pulled, and she and Toya go back and forth regarding a man feeling a certain kind of way if he's not the breadwinner. But Toya said no, that a man shouldn't feel a certain kind of way if he's not the breadwinner. And Heavenly told Toya, you would not marry him, you would not be with a man nor marry him if he didn't have any money. And the look on Toya's face, you can tell she was irritated with that comment from Heavenly. But it was to be expected. You know, Heavenly take every opportunity she can get to lay into Toya's ass. <clears throat> so the chef brings out the entrees, and they have tomahawk steak, lamb chop, fish, and lobster mac and cheese. He also said that the truffles that he was slicing over that food was $600 a pound. So the next question was, could your husband have female friends? And Toya quickly said, absolutely not. And Qua said, as long as she knows her, it would be okay. Heavenly said, hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Simone said that she didn't mind as long as the friend, and she included sisters, cousins, and his mama, respect the um, boundaries of their marriage. So at that point, that's when production showed the footage from a previous uh, reunion where Cecil, Cecil, Lord Jesus, where Simone was saying how this friend of Cecil's was really uh, interfering with their marriage. Whether the lady realized it or not, that's how um, Simone felt so in actuality, that's how it was. And Eugene was telling Cecil, man, if you ever have a woman that comes up between you and your wife, you got to handle that because you're going to have a problem. So Contessa pulled the question, what are symptoms of a dysfunctional marriage? I say, why did she talk all the way around, up down the sides of that question? But she never answered the question. She did a whole lot of talking and said a whole lot of nothing. Audra asked the ladies, what were your most what was you what were you most surprised about when you first got married? Tell you said that their penis don't grow. I say, oh damn. I say, mm -hmm. she, uh, Eugene, she be putting you out there, brother. She be putting you out there. Everybody face was just looking. They were quiet. It was like you could hear crickets chirping. But everybody eventually bust out laughing. So Simone gave all the ladies with a stack of money, and they head off to the strip club. Now, most of the ladies said that they were going to tell their spouses that they were going to the strip club. Contessa said that she was going to tell Scott because she knew it would get him aroused. Heavenly said, girl, it's just some shit you shouldn't say. Well, Neela peed a little while she was in the, uh, in the bus laughing. Quad made fun of Toya, saying that Eugene's penis wasn't small, that his penis was small and wasn't going to get any bigger. Toya said, well, she kind of played it off and said, well, as long as it fit this puss. Quad said, uh-huh, but that's not what you said. And everybody just kind of laughed and giggled that off. So they pull up to a flex club, uh, um, what is it? A strip club called Flex. 
And that night it was called Black Magic Live. Well, the club looks a little uh, empty to me. And Jackie was at a table all covered up with her designer shawl. Contessa <clears throat> said Jackie looks like Sir Jonah Truth all buttoned up. I said, mm, now wasn't that some shade right there? But I'm quite sure when Jackie hears, she'll get us. Contessa was, um, Simone was uh, stuffing money and down low the drawers of a man at, that was dancing in front of them. Toya looked like she just wasn't having, she wasn't having a good time, but then all of a sudden you seen her putting money in the men's uh, shorts or drawers or whatever you want to call it. Toya got with the program and started just enjoying herself. King walks out with looks like a king size peen and a look on Audra's face. Oh my God, it was priceless. Jackie said, oh, let me get my glasses so I can see. Contessa called King Daddy. I said, hmm, that's interesting. The MC picked out Heavenly and Toya to sit on the stage. Well, you can hear everybody laughing and Toya kind of leaves the stage and leaves uh, Heavenly up there by herself. And four, four guys came out and they quadruple, train, quadruple teamed Heavenly. Oh, I'm sleepy. Simone says she wanted Heavenly to have a special event so that she can tape it and post it on social media as evidence. Now, when she said that, that pissed me off because they all have a problem with what Heavenly does on social media. So this tick for that tat for that they're contemplating, isn't that the same damn thing? So all of the team meet at, uh, team, all of the guys meet at Team Octopus and it's the workout. Damon says <clears throat> in the confessional, he wanted everybody to um, go hard, Heavenly say. Anything he does, he go hard. He said, let's not talk about that, buddy. I thought that was so funny that he said that to Heavenly. And all of the guys agreed that they were getting old after they had a few rounds of um, spark boxing. Cecil brought up the situation regarding Eugene and Kyron. Everybody just kind of laughed it off. Heavenly takes uh, Dr. Refresh up into Jackie's room because they're getting ready to meet with all of the ladies and have breakfast. So she and Jackie start looking through all the breakfast to make sure they had enough bacon for um, Toya. Because you know what, the day before breakfast, Toya was complaining she didn't have any breakfast. Oh, and the ladies were also going to get vitamin D IVs. Heavenly asked Simone for her video so that she could edit it. And Simone said oh, they were going to post the videos for remembrance. I said, that's a missy helper. Heavenly gave her, ta her I want to call her Cortia. Heavenly gave Contessa an emotional and heartfelt apology. They hugged and she told Quad to just shut the fuck up because um, Quad was liking what she was seeing, the uh, Heavenly being vulnerable. Quad told her that she needed to think before she said some of the things that she says on her show. And Heavenly said that she really laughed to cover up things, you know, from different pains she's experienced. experienced. And her laughing at everything is just a way for her to cope. And she said that she's still a work in progress. And she says she would just rather lash, at some, lash out at someone first before she gives them the opportunity to hurt her feelings. So overall, the uh, tip was a success. All of the ladies had a really good time, even though it started off shaky with Contessa looking like she wanted to just be uh, heavenly to a pope. Overall, the trip seemed like it was pretty good. So we'll be looking for next week to see how everything goes. <laughs>